Hey guys, it is garbage night tonight. We're gonna go out garbage picking, go and look for treasure. Should be able to find something. The town that I go to, uh, my local town here, it's got a mix of like, uh, you know, blue collar, white collar, government workers. So I find a lot of cool stuff, a lot of unique items, find tools, uh, appliances, all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm pretty confident I'll find something at least. You know, I can sell or scrap, scrap metal too. I can usually find some good stuff. Um, so yeah, scrap um, garbage night is once every two weeks. So I plan on making this like a regular thing, hopefully. You know, sometimes uh, I may not go out for, you know, really bad weather and whatnot. But, you know, I'll try and go out every, every t at least uh, once every couple weeks. I'll have a, uh, um, a video for that. Um, yeah, so let's get going. You know, I, it's cold out, so you make sure you bundle up. Neck warmer. I'm going to wear a coat. Bring one flashlight. Also going to have a flashlight for the top of my GoPro. And um, yeah, other than that, I got to go warm up the car. Warm up the truck because it is cold out. I think it's like minus 17 Celsius, something like that. So anyways, let's get going. Well, first score of the day. Don't know if I can get on the truck though. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Nice washing machine. I'm gonna leave it for now. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't want to. Uh, uh, I think I'll come back in the morning because I have to deliver packages anyways, and the garbage truck won't take that so I'll just uh, oh I almost went into the ditch <laughs> the garbage man won't take that so uh, it'll be there for me tomorrow and I'll have more time bathtub but yeah I don't want to take that whole thing in it. That's good. I'll just try to put it up. that house but uh, yeah still didn't want to make too much racket because uh, that garbage pile was like pretty close to their front door oh, you're coming with me Ten cents. 
Give me these. Any beer cans, any beer bottles. You get money for those. Hold a whole dollar out of that, can out of that box. stainless steel dishwasher and there's a sink there too I don't have any room for the dishwasher I'll grab that sink It's desk. I just thought I'd show it because it's really nice. It's got a pull out, pull out thing there. It's a shelf on the bottom. Yeah, I would take that if I had room. Ten cents. These are good for rags. I'm gonna take these towels. I'm always looking for rags. Yeah, big towels. Wow, they're actually a lot. Even Christine would like those too for the house. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that guy? It's all full of tea towels. Rags. Hey guys, it's the next day, and uh, there's the pile of stuff that I got last night. I'll show you that in a second, but I just wanted to show you my truck right now because uh, I had a good uh, busy day. I went to my shop, they gave me a little bit more tin, and I went to my drop-off bin. Some neat things there. So the drop-off bin, I picked up all those TVs that were there. There were four TVs, 
and a, a few other electronics, you know, like microwave, printer. Uh, this is another Keurig. So th I also got a pan. Uh, but look at these things. This is neat. I did film it at the drop-off bin, uh, but someone dropped this off. Isn't that neat? It looks like the tip might... No, I don't know. That's not broken. I thought it was... Uh, I thought it looked broken there for a second. Yeah, that's an old kettle. That is nice. I mean, I guess it's not really old. You know, this metal piece looks pretty new. Nonetheless, nice cast iron kettle. I definitely want to, uh, you know, in the spring and summertime, definitely going to be doing some more uh, flea market sales. So I think that would be good at flea market. And then look at this old thing. Man, man some sort of farm utensil. Uh, you know, maybe it was like some sort of winch for the hay inside the hayloft or uh, something to do with. I don't. I don't know. But anyways, these look, these hooks look really cool. See the little square nails in there. If you guys have an idea of what this uh, what this may have been used for, let me know. But really nice old hardware and stuff. I love stuff like this, it's really cool. And the, w the wood is just so worn, you can tell it's original. <clears throat> so yeah, um, maybe like some sort of barn pulley system, or uh, maybe even, I don't know, maybe like the cattle or, or something would have been pulling that to sow the fields, not sure. There's the telephone from last night. So yeah, these telephones are okay. Black ones, white ones, beige, you know, they're about, yeah, I don't know how much exactly, but they're okay on eBay. Now, if you ever find one a different color than black, white, or beige, if you ever find a red rotary phone, blue, purple, pink, whatever, grab it. You, those are worth really good money. Uh, these black ones and white ones, pretty generic. So let's start off here guys. I got a bathtub last night and good treadable steel there. Um, along with these these bed uh, this bed frame here. So that's good steel. I mean the prices are going up, so uh, it was worth it for me to pick that up. A little bit there. Um, this old this thing here, I just grabbed that. Treadable steel, it's got steel case, so I'll clip the wire off that and throw the wire into my wire bucket. Uh, the bottles, okay, about 10 cents each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost a dollar, let's say, for argument's sake. My driveway is just a complete skating rink right now. It's really slippery. Yeah, so some pots. Um, that's aluminum, I believe. Maybe it says it's stainless steel, but I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, so the bottom is sticking. This part doesn't stick. And the handle doesn't stick. But yeah, it has a metal plate on the bottom of it. So that'll be dirty. Dirty stain or dirty aluminum. Same thing. Uh, but this is pressure cooker here. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I should be able to take that, take the handle off pretty easily, and that's good, uh, clean aluminum. Uh, stainless steel sink with a faucet on it. A little bit of copper and brass right there. Um, I think you guys know, or if you don't know how to, how to clean these off, but you have to take off these metal brackets here to clean off, uh, stainless steel sinks. Water coolers, they have uh, um, up inside here, there's a, a copper coil wrapped around a little tank, and that has a has about a, about a pound of copper on it. Copper, I guess it would be copper one. Uh, but you have to take that all apart. Refrigerator, um, has some good bins inside there that I, I like to resell on eBay. Um, Stuff like that. Maybe have to check them all, see which ones are broken. But yeah, those are good. 
um, oh Bosch coffee maker thing. Don't think there's anything I can take off of that. Just, you know, yeah, I might just uh, might just throw that in with shred. But uh, I like cure eggs. This one looks it might be okay. But yeah, I always like to try and sell the water reservoirs. And then after that, I cut the cord and throw that in with shreddable steel. Bread makers, if it had the bucket in there, the bucket has like a little paddle that uh, you can sell on eBay. Again, we'll just cut the cord on that, throw it in with shred. And a whole bunch of towels. They're actually super clean. They smell nice. Like they've just been washed and they've just been sitting in storage or something. And I guess they, the person, you know, had too much, too many towels. So they, uh, they threw them out. So yeah, I mean, stuff like this, you, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you just have to, you know, you don't know where it came from. So, you know, just be cautious because you don't want uh, something like bed bugs in your house, you know, but, uh, Hey, my spotty sense uh, tells me that this stuff is okay. But uh, I'll see if Christine wants any of this. Other than that, I'm just going to uh, cut them up, use them as rags.